Hello traders, FS Pimpolenta here. Today is Thursday, April 4th, and I'm going to be analyzing the US dollar yen, starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full top data analysis. So on the US dollar yen, I still think we are probably in a wave five. I'm still not really convinced it's over. It may be getting close to being over, but when I say close, I mean close on the weekly, which may be a couple weeks out still. I still think it possibly will go up a little bit more before it actually does make that bigger move to the down. Side. So taking it down to the weekly time frame, I mean, we're still sitting at the 78.6, but like I've been saying for a while now, I mean, I think it needs to clearly take out these highs, which is why I think it's more likely it's going to go up to the 100% Fibonacci extension before we get that bigger push to the downside. So taking it down to the daily time frame, price really is struggling to get beyond this 78%, but I mean, it is definitely still an uptrend. We definitely don't have a break of stretcher to the downside. We definitely don't have a lower high. We don't have it in golf move to the downside which tells me I'm definitely looking for longs on sort of time frame still going down to the four hour time frame may as well give it this fib because it really didn't even make a move to the downside the US dollar yen has been extremely extremely side ways for quite a while now it's really struggling to get beyond this 78 percent which means i mean it could pretty easily make a move down and i think it would be pretty normal looking if it actually did do that before it did continue back up we have to remember that we do have non-farm payroll news and looking at the u.s dollar index especially i think that tomorrow's news may actually cause this to go down and then that's going to be part of a correction like this is actually part of an a big stressed out wave B and then maybe down for wave C before it actually does continue the uptrend again. But the trend is up and we definitely should be looking for longs because it's just as possible and maybe even more likely that it just keeps on drifting up. So going down to the one hour time frame, I mean, I definitely would be looking for longs. Looks like we had a long entry right here. Nice one, two, three pattern. Nice little ABC. Like I always say, I'm until the higher time frames tell me otherwise, I am literally doing nothing but looking for longs on these sort of time frames. If this does make another pullback, actually that's great news for us. Because at the end of the pullback, I will look to get long again for the continuation of the uptrend. At least until the higher time frames tell me otherwise. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel linked in the card down here below or linked in the corner down here. And don't forget to check out my membership program at my website, fxpipcollector.com. As always, thank you and happy trading.